Well, this is basically the whole setup. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much prototyping. But uh, we've got a Arduino here. Um, some hardware to control the stepper, which is uh, tucked, in, tucked in here. A uh, little bit uh, of a Meccano to, uh, to keep the, the platform that I use uh, stable. Xbox webcam. For the simple fact that it's uh, easy to use and it doesn't autofocus because that really sucks when you try to scan something in the dark. Uh, that's why I'm using uh, the cardboard uh, boxes you see here. Um, why do I use them? Well, quite easily because you need uh, to scan in the dark to get a good image. How high tech is that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to try to scan a part of the motor. Uh, the reason because, uh, that I didn't scan the whole motor in one piece is uh, because, well, um, uh, scanning uh, a object that is rotating sometimes uh, it's a little bit hard to um, uh, scan around parts. So basically, you have to have uh, some sort of roundish object, or else. Uh, the scanning won't uh, be, perfed, be perfect. Um, okay, this is a little uh, piece of software I wrote. Um, it's uh, written with uh, the Flex SDK. So it's an, uh, an Air app. Um, the reason I chose for Flex is because it has a lot of functionality for uh, manipulating bitmaps and such. And, uh, well, uh, it's what I do for a living, so... <laughs> It was an obvious choice. Um, well, um, the whole thing works a little bit like something like this. Uh, Flex or Flash has no way to directly connect to the Arduino, so I use a little uh, uh, proxy because uh, Flex can connect to a, uh, a, a proxy uh, over an IP address. So that's what I'm using. It's called Surprox proxy. Uh, if you Google on uh, that, you will find. Uh, you'll probably find it. It's uh, it's cool. It's simple. It's useful. The piece of software. Uh, this is the uh, webcam image you see, and uh, this is what uh, what's uh, being uh, scanned. So if I make a snapshot, you see the image changes a little bit. I've got uh, two uh, filters, uh, so I can adjust uh, the brightness and contrast of the uh, of the line, um, which isn't function. Oh wait, I have to turn it on. <laughs> so I can uh, adjust the uh, levels, and I'm doing this to uh, get a nice sharp line uh, to scan. Uh, when I'm uh, when I'm pleased with the with the result, I turn on my black and white filter. So it's get even more easier to scan. So what I do is uh, just scan, I just scan the right part of uh, this object because that's where the line is. You see some uh, stuff uh, that's not supposed to be there. I will uh, remove that in my lab. Um, well, this is uh, good enough. Uh, when I take a snapshot of it. You can see here a little red line, and that's the, those are the points I'm actually scanning. And those points I can convert to a 3D point with some uh, algebra or geometry, I think I should say. Yeah. Um, well, scanning uh, is quite simple. Uh, I connect to the proxy, so I'm connected. Uh, I actually scan of send the step size to the uh, to the Arduino. Which picks it up, and I say, uh, "Well, uh, I want to make a 360 scan," and I start scanning. So what it's doing now is uh, scanning the object and um, writing it to a file, uh, uh, which uh, it does continuously. Uh, well, when it's ready, it stops automatically and, uh, and writes the file. Well, uh, I'm uh, inside MeshLab now. Uh, this is uh, what a result could look like. Uh, this is actually a scan of the total molar, what, which was my first attempt. Um, didn't go all too well because uh, you couldn't scan behind the legs of the of the molar, so obvious it, it cannot. 
Um, so I decided to uh, take it apart and just scan one leg of the motor uh, in a separate um, in a separate scan and scan the top part of the motor, which uh, was kind of nice because I could scan the top of the motor uh, much better. So it has a nice indentation in there. Um, well, uh, yeah, what you do then is um, uh, mesh it or uh, try to mesh it. Uh, you have to actually have to clean up the object quite a bit. Uh, 